Hello and welcome to our Gold participants from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang-Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold Lactation Online Conference 2016. Well, welcome to Diane Cassidy. How are you doing today, Diane? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, Diane, I, I, I'm just going to share a brief little uh, story so people know what happened. So I ran into Diane uh, last year in Vegas, of all places. Who knew, <laughs> right? <laughs> we promised we were working there. We promised yeah. we were working. And um, it's been a couple of years. Uh, Diane had presented for us before at Gold's, but uh, I got talking to, to Diane, and um, I just knew she's a great fit for Gold. And I was so excited when we started talking, and she said that she had this talk that she really wanted to talk about. So that's what happened, right? That's the, that's the backstory behind all of this, right, Diane? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, it's a backstory. So and we, you did tell me it was the big 10-year anniversary. So Totally. That's very right. Very excited about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was really, really excited when Diane agreed to come and present for us. And, um, and she is presenting on Paying It Forward, Support for the Breastfeeding Mother and Baby. So thank you again, Diane, for sitting down with us today as we chat about this. But first of all, I would love it if you could just reintroduce yourself again. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your professional journey. Okay. Um, well, again, I'm Diane Cassidy. I got interested in the world of lactation with my own children. Um, I think that's how a lot of IBCLCs get started. Yeah. And, um, you know, had three kids in two years, set of twins. Um, dedicated to breastfeeding all these babies and um, really kind of struggled to figure out exactly how everything was supposed to work. Did not have a lot of help. Um, started reading and learning and reading and learning and just really went from there and became such, just such a path for me that the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn, the more I wanted to get involved, the more I really felt connected to these mothers and um, did a lot of training to get my IBCLC, lots and lots of clinical hours, um, lots of education, and I really, it's its definitely where I should be. So I love working with the moms and the babies and the new families and just helping them get acclimated to life with a new baby, which as we know can be pretty difficult. Um, just regular newborn behavior, concerns, just guiding, supporting throughout this whole journey. Um, so it's been, a huge learning experience um, for me over the last 10 years that I've been working in this field. Mm. And I just learned something new from each mother, I think. <laughs> well, I think I just got finished saying this, um, that every time, I, every time I'm with a family, every time I'm with peers too, though, it seems that there is something new that we are learning. And I think it's just because we're, we're constantly growing. And I think as lactation consultants, too, we're hungry. I mean, we're passionate to the core. It feels like we were born to do this. And it sounds like you were, too. You know, mm -hmm. once you got hooked on it, you were, like, off and running and very dedicated because, like you said, it took time. It took a lot of time. And I did everything backwards. I, um, I spoke at a conference recently, and I was joking about how I do everything backwards and <laughs> got my IBCLC and then got my college education, and then got my master's, my, or my bachelor's and my master's, and, you know, so I did all my clinical hours, which at the time was thousands and thousands of clinical hours yes. to even sit for the board exam, because I didn't have a, a college degree at the time, so um, if I had just, you know, done everything the other way, it would have been easier, but I'm so grateful for that, because it taught me so much, and I love doing the conferences, because then I get to keep up on all the, the latest evidence-based information and, you know, gives me more things to work with. And I just, it's so important. It's so important to stay connected with your peers. And it's just to be in a room with like-minded people and everybody just is here for the same purpose. It's so refreshing. I know. It's like every year I think, okay, so what, what's going to change this year or what am I going to learn? And every single time guaranteed, no matter where I am, there's something new um, there's something we're talking about at great debate, you know, mm -hmm. and and it's amazing, you know, how we can just this this momentum, you know, I, I mean, I've been in the business for, you know, over, well, about 
uh, yeah, 25 years. And so, you know, and I have substantially, I've seen lots of changes, probably similar to you, Diane. Um, and some things have stayed the same, which is really interesting too. However, there, there just have been so many advances in the education um, about, even about the breast itself, uh, you know, and its mechanics and anatomically, but it's amazing how we always seem to have things that challenge us and that we can learn. Amazing. Yes. And you're right. There has been so much that has come out every year. There's new information, yeah. there's new evidence, there's new studies that are coming out to help us with our work with these moms. And it's just, it's fantastic. Okay, so let's let's challenge Diane now. So I hear everyone roar in the cl the crowd. Let's <laughs> challenge Diane with a little question because she's she's skirting around our ten years. You talked about it at the beginning. It's our tenth anniversary here, which we're so excited to uh, again, you know, even be here and have such great support, not from just like speakers like yourself, Diane, but also from our delegates, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've we're talking a lot. We're doing lots of promos and having fun, and it's a real party. Feel. You know, we want to celebrate this. It's important that we, we celebrate all the learning that we've done. But I want to know some of the key things, Diane, that either you've learned, um, you've seen change, you know, something that's really significant for you personally in the field of lactation in the last 10 years. So talk to me about that. I think the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about change in our field is how much education and support has grown. You know, I mean, my children, my twins were three when I started in this field and there wasn't a lot of support. There wasn't, you know, there, there wasn't a lot there for new mothers. New mothers didn't know where to go for lactation help. It was kind of, it was almost like we were just new at this. Everybody was new at this. And now I feel like there's so many more, people getting trained in lactation. There's so many more people trying to learn more about it. There's doctor's offices that are trying to, you know, keep mothers engaged in breastfeeding. And it's just, it's grown so much. Even the field of IBCLCs has grown so much than it was. Baby friendly hospitals are becoming more abundant. It's really over the last 10 years, the work that conferences and gold has done over the last 10 years of educating us really educating us to the point where we're, we can take that out and run with it and you know just really make such a huge difference it's amazing when I think back on how I didn't have that kind of guidance 10 years ago 13 years ago and what I could have done you know with my kids if I had yeah um, it's just it's just amazing how far we've come yeah, it, I I totally agree with you. It is amazing how far we've come. And I I was just reflecting too on, you know, thinking about um, you having your twins and you know just some of the stuff that comes up. It, one baby, two babies, but you know, um, it is tough. Like we, a lot of it was guesswork. I think you know, mm -hmm. um, my one of my best friends, she has triplets, and I remember that whole scenario and you know how it was so strange and people were very enamored by the whole thing and. You know, um, but we were winging it, really. We we had information, but we really were. When you when we reflect now, there was a lot of just winging it. You know, we didn't we didn't really know what was going on. <laughs> you know, when, I know. When, when you reflect, so we were. You know, we were, we were basing on um, you know a mother's instinctual, innate behavior with her infant, and all those types of things. Which, again, in reflection, that stuff hasn't changed. Right, like that stuff has not changed. I think the only thing that has changed with that is that I think people are getting away from that now that you know there's so much <laughs> internet, there's so much Google, there's so much we don't trust our instincts anymore, and that's one of the things I try to tell these moms is oh, you're listen so to right. your instincts, yeah, listen isn't that funny? Yourself. So here Follow we are. This baby. That's right. We've gone full circle. And what's what's the biggest conversation we're having? Trust your instincts. Watch your baby's behavior. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. It's, it's sort of the beginning of the conversation that we have with mothers today when we're talking to them. You know, we're not diving into the latch. We're not, you know, diving into all those other things. We're saying, trust your instincts. You know best. You know, watch your baby's behavior. Trust those things. Because we know when that happens, 
that's when we can see things unfold so much easier and better for that, you know, that mother baby dyad. So yeah, that's, that's so funny. When you put it into context like that, Diane, oh gosh, we've, we've got a ways to go again. Now we've got to kind of even things out, you know, we've got the information, right? And now we've got to even it out again. Sometimes I wonder if I had all the information I have now, if I had all that information when I had twins, how were when I was breastfeeding my twins, how I would have done with that. Because yeah. I think maybe, especially with the twins, for mm -hmm. me, not knowing a lot, I think was probably, might have saved me part of the time. But, right, for sure. But there was, you know, I think we do look into a lot mm -hmm. as a problem that isn't anymore. Yeah. You know, and, and even just the, the simple things like, oh, the baby's spitting up. And I don't know, one of mine spit up all the time. I never thought anything of it. Yeah. I never, never thought it was my milk. I never thought no. it was something I was eating. I never thought it was a breastfeeding problem. I just thought, eh, my kid's spitting up. Yeah, I know. It's that factor that we try to label everything and, you know, we get hypersensitive to things. And then mm -hmm. it's difficult to know, you know, the baseline is what I talk a lot to my clients about, you know, what is the baseline? What is the, you know, that norm for your baby, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah. So like I said, we, we've got a ways to go to iron it out, but uh, we're getting there, Diane. We're going to do it, right? We are. Gonna, yes, we are. That's awesome. Well, I know one way we're going to do it is when you present on this topic. And, um, and so I want you to share with our audience today, as we wrap up here, just a little snippet of what you're hoping to share with them um, as they listen to your presentation during our gold conference. Okay. So what paying it forward is all about is supporting the mom and the baby. And as over the last few years, especially I've noticed in my work that moms are really lacking in support. You know, even, even people that think that they're supporting the mom or think that they're supporting the breastfeeding relationship between the mom and baby, the mom still is left feeling as if they're not supported. So I would, what I hope people are going to get out of this, what I hope the delegates are going to get out of it this year is to know how to support moms better, how to look at the mother baby dyad and, and, determine what they need and how to support them, mm. how, how important that language is, how important it is to, you know, really look at what's going on with them and support them and support what they need. Um, try to look ahead of what they need. Um, really, you know, if the mom is saying, I'm concerned about the baby's weight gain, that is her really questioning her ability to breastfeed. So really being able to offer that support, offer ongoing support, offer to watch a feed, you know, see what is going to work for this family. And, and definitely these things take time, but that is what these moms want. Absolutely. Well, I'm certainly, you know, it's going to be really fun to have you here. And I'm looking forward to th this topic again, you know, what better way to, you know, be engaging with mothers in this way and finding better and, you know, better supportive ways to, to be with them um, as, it's as it's always changing as well. So I love your topic, love the title, Paying It Forward, Support for the Breastfeeding Mother and Baby with Diane Cassidy. Thank you, Diane, for being with us here today. It's been lovely chatting with you. It's been wonderful chatting with you too. I always love it. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to having all of you join us, too, at the Gold Lactation Online Conference for 2016. Thanks, everyone, for listening in. Bye-bye for now.